Hi, I'm Darby Malvey, Programming and Outreach Coordinator for Library Link NJ, and this is our how-to video on how to create your Library Link NJ online user account. Um, you'll need a Library Link NJ user account to take advantage of things like posting to forums, registering for programs, and subscribing to our listservs. Um, the good news is it's free and easy to create a user account as long as you are employed by a member library. Um, and even better news is that most New Jersey libraries are already Library Link NJ members, and that includes public, school, academic, and special libraries. Um, if you are not sure whether your institution is a Library Link NJ member, you can go to our website. This is our homepage. And right up here where it says membership, um, you can do a member search to see if the library or institution where you work is in fact a Library Link NJ member. Um, if you don't find the information you're looking for or you're not sure, you can always reach out to us. Info at librarylinknj.org is the email address you want to use. Um, and we can look into it for you and get back to you, of course. After you've determined whether or not your institution is a member, there are only really two other pieces of information that you'll need to know so that you can create your account. The first is whether or not you're a voting representative for your institution, and the second is whether or not you're the primary contact person. Um, in most cases, these roles are already being fulfilled by someone at your institution, but if you're new to, say, a very small library or new to a school, um, you may in fact be the voting representative or the primary contact. Once again, um, you can go to our homepage and under here where it says membership, you can click where it says voting reps and actually see who is listed as the voting rep for each of our member institutions. Um, you can also ask around uh, your colleagues or supervisor or someone at your institution may already know who the voting rep is or who the primary contact is. Um, again, if you can't find that information, somebody doesn't know it um, or you're not finding what you need here, you can always reach out to us and we are so happy to help. Once you have that information, all you need to do is visit our website, get your account set up. So you'll go to our homepage, which looks like this, and up here, you can click where it says login and create new account. At the top of this page, there's a lot of information. Some of it is stuff that we've um, just gone over and some of it are things that I'm gonna talk about in just a moment. So I'm not gonna read it, but you are more than welcome to read it if you'd like to. I'm going to scroll down to the create account section. Um, you'll put in an email address. Uh, so make sure that you're using your work email address for the institution that is a Library Link NJ member. If you are a student at an accredited library school, you can use your school email address. Uh, so for example, a Rutgers email address, but you don't wanna use your personal email um, because we'll verify that your account is part of a member institution. You'll then put in a username you can create any username you want. Um, just make sure it's something that you'll remember or, or jot it down somewhere. And also keep in mind that your username will be visible to all other users when you do things like post to the forums. So you'll want to pick something that you're comfortable with having the rest of the library community see. After you put in your username, you'll select your library affiliation. Um, so here you'll see that um, it's a search and select drop down menu. So for example, I'm just going to use FOMER as an example because I know there are a lot of choices. Here's the Summers Point branch of the Atlantic County Library System. Um, we have some Somerset and Somerville Elementary Schools. We have some branches of the Somerset County Library System. So, um, you know, I could begin typing and then select whichever institution um, I'm attempting to make an account for. What you want to make sure you do is, in fact, select and not just type. So I would not just type in Library Link NJ and move on. I would actually want to make sure it's highlighted here in blue that I select it, and then you'll see that it comes up right here. Um, after you've selected your library affiliation, simple information, put in your work phone number, put in your first and last name, and then you'll scroll, that, scroll down and you'll select your job title and your job responsibilities. We know that not everything is listed here. Um, you can select the thing that most closely resembles your job title, or of course you can always select other. Um, and then as far as job responsibilities go, we do ask that you select at least one, but you can certainly choose more. Uh, we know that a lot of people are wearing multiple hats, so you can select as many things as are relevant to um, your role in your library. After you've done that, we come to just those final two questions that we already talked about. Are you the voting rep for your library? And are you the primary contact for your library? It defaults to no, so it's already selected. If the answer is yes, of course, you'll just click yes. If the answer is no, you can leave it alone. 
Um, and after you've filled in those answers, you'll cr just click create new account. Once you click that create new account button, um, you'll get taken back to our homepage. You'll see this green bar here thanking you for applying for an account if all of your information has gone through. Um, please note that it's not an instant account creation process. Uh, your account will be pending for approval, so it may take a day or two uh, for you to get the email to your email address that you used um, with your account approval. Once that email comes to you, it'll have a temporary password in it. You'll log in to set your permanent password, and then you'll be all set to use your account. If there's anything wrong with your application, you'll get a red bar here on our homepage indicating that there's been an issue. Maybe the username you've chosen has already been taken or something. You'll just go back and fix those issues and then wait for your account approval. Um, once your account's all set up, as I mentioned, you can do all kinds of great stuff on our website, like sign up for programs and events, post to our forums, um, make sure you get on all our listservs. Uh, so you'll want to get that set up right away. If you have any questions, of course, you can always reach out to us. Um, I hope this video has been helpful to you all and thanks so much for watching.